this was a very expensive lesson. I was trying to be cocky and I paid the price. <laughs> so the two fathoms has gone down to one fathom for the moment. Yeah. <laughs> This is my Fountain Vision Plus and last May I went down to this little gorge to capture a, a small waterfall and as I was going down I lost my GPS and then I <laughs> had a mishap and went straight into the water. This young Spanish lad managed to dive in and get my drone out. Here it is drying out, getting all the water out of it. And then Steve decided to have a good nose as I was drying the drone out. He went in, did the same thing, lost GPS, went into the side of the cliff. But not only did it hit it once, it hit it twice. <laughs> Sorry about the quality of the film. How many satellites you got there? Six. That's why you've got to have seven. So, yeah. take note again. This is captured from Steve's flight record and he's going into the snow well. Yet again, <laughs> he's lost his GPS. Um, and because he's got a fat and free standard, the GPS is not brilliant on those machines. So it's going in for the bounce now. Maybe if we use prop guards, that wouldn't happen. So this is me now, flying over Steve's disaster. This is Steve's drone. <laughs> Still got his lights on. Doesn't look very good. Camera doesn't look very good. So what we've done, we've gone back home, picked up the fishing rod, bought a couple of hooks, and then we've gone back to hook it out. Who would believe that we'd be fishing for a drone? But Steve managed to put his line in, got it first catch, grabbed hold of it. Thankfully, it was face down, so he managed to grab hold of the legs and hook it up. As you can see, I'm flying over, having a good view. <laughs> All captured on the video, because nobody would believe this. Look, we've just caught a drone. So Steve's hooking it out now. Um, you probably can make out the camera's hanging off. The only thing he did lose in the hole still was his SD card had come out, which was a bit of a pain, but then, you know, he's got his drone back. That was the main thing. Not a good morning. Not a good morning for Steve. But he took it all to heart. So I'm just coming in to do a, a close-up. Steve's, Steve's showing his trophy. Yeah, look at that. We don't catch many of those these days. Yeah, look. It's... 
Yeah, fuck me, yeah. Crack there. Yeah. All that's kind of fair whack, yeah. That's which has dislodged the motor then. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Yeah, not looking very good, but this the camera's alright. But um Yeah the plate. Oh right, oh I see. No, 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 that's right. No, the plate's still there. All you need then is this free well, oh I see, yeah, I see what you mean now. That's gone. Unless that could be super glued. So we took it back to the car park just to see if it's still flyable. <laughs> After the second one, believe it or not, it took off. Even with the camera hanging, we couldn't, obviously the camera disconnected itself so we couldn't see what was happening, but it actually took off. Um, with a bent arm, uh, the camera hanging off, props still all right. Yeah, pretty amazing. Now, like I said before, all this was pilot error, nothing to do with the machine itself, it was just our own faults, we know <clears throat> we shouldn't do these things, but we do. So I just want to put this up. If you can't afford these machines, don't buy them because accidents do happen, unfortunately. Uh, me and Steve are both retired now, so this is, this is what we do in our pastime, really. We go out photographing and using the drones, just to get a different angle. So, there you are, folks. Is this the end?